Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, pretty early in the day. Probably should break out the sunglasses because the sun's saying hello to me right now. But uh, hopefully you don't mind if you don't see my eyes. Um, so I did see a little bit of Biden's uh, State of the Union address. I still do not know what state the Union is in. I can only assume it's bad. But uh, he went on yelling mostly about uh, gun control measures and all that and how, you know, people who are gun owners actually agree with these uh i'm just going to take a guess and think and assume biden talked to none of us about any of that but he's talking about banning assault weapons shortly after talking about the uh, lunar new year uh mass shooter biden I, I thank you for bringing on that uh hero that actually saved lives that day not you, but someone who actually saved lives. Uh, thank you for bringing that gentleman to the State of the Union. Thank you for inviting him. But um, you were doing so good up until you said we need an assault weapons ban. You were doing so good. And here is why taking people's firearms is not going to make anyone safer. Sorry about the shadow. I got animals on uh, on the deck with me black lab and my uh, orange tabby but this is my semi-automatic handgun that I use I carry every day basically and that's my AR-15 so the problem with an assault weapons ban is that something like this a handgun was actually used in the mass shooting of the Lunar New Year and this is used in more mass shootings and gunfights in the country than this is so why are we talking about banning this and not this? Well, if they take this away, they'll use their assault rifles to take those away. I'm just, you know, taking a guess. But I'm just going to say keeping something like this for our personal protection on a day-to-day -day basis and keeping something like this for our home defense and self-defense, it would probably be something that we could probably agree on, right? Because this handgun, you would more than likely have to use if you were in a situation that you needed to. And this would probably have to be used in a situation where you absolutely need to use it. But Biden is talking about an assault weapons ban. What is an assault weapon? Assault is an action. Those are weapons. So if I use... The action of these weapons to attack someone it's an assault weapon grammatically this makes no sense technically this makes no sense because these are just weapons lying on the ground they do nothing doing nothing they pose a threat to no one if I pick them up and defend my property against people who would want to hurt me they would be defensive weapons but if I were to use these weapons to attack someone in their property that would be an assault weapon it's all relative as to what action you're taking with these weapons, which is why an assault weapon, by its predicate, makes no sense to me. Taking something away because they pose a threat to someone doesn't make any sense. It's an infringement on our rights, on our property rights. It's an infringement on our constitutional rights, our inalienable God-given rights. And Biden, you're a Catholic, or so you say. Could you please give me a religious pretext why you would want to take these weapons away? Because if I remember correctly, it was the Romans who did that against the Jews, who they conquered in a war, and then subjected them to cruel and unusual and harsh punishment. Can you as a Catholic find a pretext somewhere in the Bible that defends that? Moreover, these weapons do nothing by themselves. If you want to keep firearms away from deadly, dangerous people who are uh, threaters. How about the people that are in jail? Stay in jail until they pose no threat to anyone. Just a thought. And on top of that, the laws we already have on the books are not being enforced as they are because the government fails to do its job of protecting us, so we have to protect ourselves. But bad people get their hands on guns. I have no problem agreeing with that. However, saying that in order to prevent bad people from having their hands on firearms means taking firearms away from people like me, who are the good guys. 
people who are law-abiding citizens who want to harm no one. Why... Can you please explain to me how taking firearms away from me will somehow make everyone safer? Because it makes no sense to me. And this is one of those times where the government tries something and fails and says it's because we weren't trying hard enough. And it's actually asinine and stupid. I find it ridiculous and completely irresponsible on the part of the government to decide we can protect everyone by taking everyone's rights to protect themselves. Because it's our job to protect people. No, it's not. It's your job to govern. You need to make laws that make sense, and you need to honor the foundation of this country by not stripping people of their rights. You tried a prohibition on alcohol. It didn't work. You try a prohibition on drugs. It's not working. What makes you think a prohibition on firearms are going to work any better? Just a thought, Biden. See you guys next time.